I've got what I like to refer to as hodgepodge. We got a total of four huge boxes that came on one pallet. Each box, good by say 20 to 25 pounds per box. So these four combined, upwards of like 100 pounds of stuff. So with hodgepodge, it could be anything from electronics, housewares, cookware, pets, toys, electronics, tools, apparel. If, if, if you could think of it, it could be in here. And that's no joke. It can get scary sometimes. So the total MSRP on Amazon.com, if these things were new, but they're not, they're customer returns. So, but the full MSRP, $1,819. So not bad, just shy of $2,000. But what I paid, I got this one cheap. $117.21. That's it. That includes everything. Price, taxes, fees, premium. No shipping cost because I pick up in person. I don't pay any shipping costs. So this is going to be profitable no matter what. Whenever you pay around 100 bucks for a pallet, you're going to make money. So first box. Everything will be sold on the usual selling platforms that I sell on, all the online platforms, in-person kind of uh, platforms that, that I sell on. So this should be interesting. Hodge, Hodge, are you ready? Let's see. First, let me grab this. Cool. This first box, it looks like hodgepodge. Oh, yeah. But first thing that we got a wireless... Uh, what brand is this? Tizumi Wireless Sports Earbuds. Newer used. Come on, don't be used. No ear what Are they in there? Yeah, they're in there. Not really. I think they're used, but they're not like nasty or anything. There's like lightly used, but they're not like covered in earwax. Like sometimes you've seen them absolutely just covered in earwax. I mean, so covered that the person probably needed to get their ears checked because it was too much earwax to the point where it's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's normal. I don't know. But I, I, I have a phobia of certain things and one of my phobias is earwax. That's just me. I've got some phobias and, I, and I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> you throw that stuff together. It's a good time. So we got, oh, we've got a case, probably for a MacBook Pro 13 inch, I'm guessing. So it's like 10 bucks, like a plastic hard case. Whoa, hodgepodge. And now we're, so we went from like two electronic kind of items to a halo light. Model number halo 1493W. How much that's even worth if it's even sellable. <clears throat> Here's a Kohler Genuine Parts GP30413. This is brand new. Another one of these lights again. Two of those. This actually looks factory sealed. Nope, nope. It's been opened up. Disregard. Description, Sieves, 12-inch, one-piece, Winco, barcode 8129. Let me get my phone. Let me look this thing up. Keep the box sealed for now. Oh, this thing's 14 bucks. Winco sleeves, 12-inch, sells for like 14 bucks. So I, I probably sell it for like 10 just to get rid of it. Now, oh, this thing's kind of heavy. Whole house filter, Watts. Yeah, I have to test this thing out, see if this thing's new or used. Because if this thing's used, it just destroys the value. But, yeah. Cleaning refreshing water. Eh. Got to research that. Figure it out. We got your hodgepodge. Here's your Where's Waldo Halloween costume now. Winda. Where's Winda? That's a good 10 bucks right there. Oh, Lux Bidet. I got one of these last week and it was heavily, heavily used. Like nasty used. Even if you're not a germaphobe, it was still a little bit too used since this is like it goes onto a toilet. Oh, 
But this one's new. This one still is in all the factory packaging. Okay, that's okay. This one is still brand new. I think brand new things are like, was like 25 bucks or so. Okay, I don't mind new bidets, but used ones, you know what I'm saying. Oh, another Kohler Authentic Heart. Man, hot pods are going everywhere. Uh, I, I had to check this thing a little bit closer. What is this? Purist valve trim lever. Model number TS14423-4-CP. Yeah, I'll update below. Prices on that. I really don't know. Then clear knob, clear stove knob covers for your baby. Looks to be new. Like 10 bucks on that. What's this? Oh, this is, oh, the coffee grinder. Oh, very, very used coffee grinder. Extremely used. It's probably burnt up, honestly. Most of the times, whenever you get a coffee grinder that's been returned, it's usually because it's burnt up. And that's why they, they returned it. What is this? Next roller? Never heard of this brand. Oh, it's one of those rollers to like use on your back and your legs and stuff. It's like a fancy one. Woo! Stay. You can adjust it. Oh, it vibrates. So you roll on this thing and this thing vibrates. So that's cool. I know like we have one of these at home that you roll out to like stretch your back out and pop your back. So that's different. I've never seen this one before. It looks like a charger for it. I'm sure there's a plug in here somewhere. Just gotta find it. Yeah, that's kind of nifty. I might actually keep that. We'll see. Might keep it. No guarantees. I've never seen this thing before. That's ultra cool though. That's extremely cool. Two things left. We've got, oh, we got a record. Is this a record? Yeah. So this is a CPAP hose holder. Elim eliminate CPAP related sleep interruptions. Adjustable swing arm moves with you. I don't know how much thing sells for. I know a lot of the CPAP items are regulated by the FB, FDA. The actual, the machine, the mass and stuff, those are regulated, but you can get like stuff like this is not regulated by the FDA. So these things can be sold, but I made like 10 bucks or so. I'm not even sure, but here we go. We, we, we do have a record though. We've got Camp Low on the way uptown, the uptown Saturday night demo. I'm not sure what this is. Ah, oh, they freaking taped it. Carefully open it up. The record's in fantastic shape. I don't know much about this, but this is probably most records. I, I sell like $15 shipped. That's probably gonna be about the about the price on that. So that's it for the first box. I mean boxes stuff all back up. I'll be back with box number two. Here we go. Box number two. What we've gotten here. So this one looks like a bunch of big box items, possibly. Here we go. First thing out of here, we got a George Foreman. Hmm. George Foreman KCD maker. When they check this thing out, make sure it's not defective or broken because it's kind of loose in there. Sometimes these get damaged during shipping, and they're just plastic, so pieces break off of them. But if it's if it's used and not broken, that's like fifteen dollars. If it's not broken, we've got a Black and Decker. Easy steam, non-stick iron. 
eh, I, I, that's a good thing to sell locally uh, for like 10 bucks or so. AT&T phone, wired, very, very basic. That's gonna be like a $5 item. Eh, not very expensive. Euro, Euro socks. These are some of these fancy keep your feet warm socks. Look to be new in the package. And these can run about like 10, 15 bucks or so for those fancy socks. What's this? Looks like a glass tea thickening pot thing. Half it's in like Chinese or Japanese writing, so I can't really read it. But yeah, it's like a $5. I probably sell things like five bucks just to get rid of it. We got clothes. Can't have a hodgepodge without some clothes. We've got some uh, snow pants. This is the Arctic's brand, good brand. Oh, these are no good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's the crotch. Wow, that crotch is completely ripped out. Well, like somebody used these, because they're, they're, they're like in fantastic shape. They're probably used one time, but they bought a size too small and they probably did some kind of like a skiing move and completely ripped out the crotch completely. Like these can be fixed. You can't sew these back. These are, those are trash now. That sting, those are, those are like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks right there too. But not anymore. Memory foam wedgie cushion. Man, it's still sealed up. But yeah, a wedgie cushion, that's like 10 bucks. It's not very expensive. Let's see what we got. Where's some cool stuff? Ooh, what's this? Paul Young, the CBS Singles Collection. Of course, they also taped it. Carefully. Carefully. And carefully. Almost got it. Ah, perfect. I actually got all the tape off without damaging any of the packaging. Whew, just slow and steady. So we've got Paul Young, the CBS Singles Collection, 82 to 94. Wow, this looks like a, a huge CD set right here. This is no joke. There's probably, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Looks like there's 20 CD set of Paul Young. Wow. That's going to have a little bit of value to it. Let me actually look this thing up. Actually, you know, it says it's got... The back of this thing says it's got 19 CDs and one DVD with the videos on the back of it. So 19 CDs and one DVD. Let me see how much this thing sells for. So on Amazon, brand new condition. This isn't new though. It sells for $78.90 or 52 cents. Or it's like 80 bucks due. Whoa. That's expensive. Used condition. Sells for... Let's see. Nobody's selling it used, but if it sells for 80 bucks new, like this thing is in fantastic shape. I mean, there's not anything wrong with this thing. It's not, there's no damage on it at all. This is probably good 40 to 50 bucks. Like opened up, probably about half, a little bit more than half. That's, that's nice right there. I'll probably try to charge 50, but the first person says I'll, I'll give you 40 for it, it's sold. Here's some of these winter socks from earlier. <laughs> Here's some caution tape. I'm going to say this back for Halloween. I'm keeping that. Oh, what is this? Somebody bought something, they took it all apart, it looks like. It's in pieces. One thing left in this box. Put that right back down. That's that thing's a mess. Oh, this thing's heavy. We have a Eat Smart Precision 550 Digital Bathrooms Go 550 pound capacity. Dang. This thing is it thing's heavy. It's got some weight to it. 
I bet this thing's probably good, like 30, 40 bucks maybe. That's nice though. But anyway, that's it for box number two. Let me box this stuff up. I'll be right back with box number three. And so far, the best thing has been this CD set, which is, things nice. I'll take it. Box number three. Two wasn't too bad. Got some decent stuff out of box two. One bad. So box three, let's do a kind of hodgepodge we can get this time. Yeah, this looks hodgepodgey too. What is this? Medieval buckler? A buckler is a small shield about the size of a large dinner plate that often accompanied a swordsman. Our training replica is stoutly made with a thick, sturdy boss to protect the hand and a rugged handle that will withstand plenty of use. It is fashioned from the highest grade of high impact polypropylene available, assuring it's imperv... Im can't say that word. Two of the elements. So, it's a shield. A swordsman's shield. I have no clue how much this thing's even worth. This is kind of this is kind of awesome. This is hodgepodge. We got a freaking shield, like a real shield that you would use. I gotta look this thing up. I'm totally curious. So it only sells for around like twenty five dollars. This thing's freaking awesome. It says medieval protective equipment. That's awesome. So like I'm gonna try to get like a full 20 bucks out of this thing because I kind of low-key want to keep it. Here's just a nice pair of leather gloves. Winter gloves. 10 bucks on that. Oh, this a record? Yes, we've got a record. This is the best of Sade. There's like a double, nope, a single. LP record, like $15 shipped for Sade. <laughs> Thinking of coffee filters, a whole bunch of them. I'll probably go into like my donation stack more than likely. Oh, there's that's a good item right there. AT&T cordless phone, like 10 bucks on that. Oh, we haven't seen one of these on this channel for a long time. If you've been watching me for let's say the past six months, you've seen this on my channel probably a dozen times. But we've had a drought now where we haven't seen this on my channel for since before, I bet you Christmas of last year. Uh-oh. That thing still looks new too. Oh, yes. This thing sells new for around like 200 or two, it's like, what is it? 200, 225 new. These things are expensive. These are not cheap. This one does look new actually. There's all the cords all tied up still. This looks new. So I sell these things in new condition, use them for, for about, what is it, 150 new? And then use, I go like, because I can clean these things up very, very easily. It just shoots out dog treats. But I sell these things used for like 125 and new. I think it's around like one, if it's like totally new for like 150. And yeah, this is freaking, it looks to be, it looks to be new. I'll have to take this thing out later. Look at it closer, make sure everything on this thing is good to go. But yeah, if that thing, that's a good, like $150 bill right there, pretty easily. But these things sell really well, sell pretty quickly, and it's a cool little thing. Shoots out your cat or your dog a treat whenever you're not home. That's probably gonna be the most expensive thing in this pal, I bet ya. Yeah, actually, if that thing sells for 150, which if, if it's new, it will, that almost paid for the entire pallet. That's what we like. Oh, Behringer microphone. These things I sell for like $10. These, these are actually pretty cheap mic. It's not very, it's not a very upscale mic. I think the new price is 15. I sell them for 10 and they sell pretty quickly. Oh, we got a molar back brace belt. I think sell for like 10 bucks usually. Sell pretty quickly. Then we have Queen. Not the band Queen. Sheet size queen. Amazon Basics sheets. Oh, uh, they're like a really pretty kind of a gray silverish color. They don't look you. They just look like somebody bought them and then they stuffed them back in the box and returned them. 
Yeah, a queen size sheet set. These sell anything queen and king's kind of like your money size when it comes to sheet sets. So this is a good 15, 20 bucks. Two things left. Lowell. What is this? Oh, it's another sheet set. It looks like 10, 15 bucks on that. Last thing, an air pressure leg beauty massager. I've never seen this. Hodgepodge. This palace had a little bit of everything. We've had kitchen, we've had a dog treat thingy, CDs, records, kitchen stuff, and now we've got like uh, this, whatever you kind of call this kind of an item. So two leg massagers and then the massaging wand. This thing could be like 30 to 50 dollars depending on i'm not really sure but it's probably between like 30 and 50 bucks i bet that's not bad so that is it for box number three so we got one box left and i'm already i'm pretty sure i made some killer profit already because that dog treat toy paid almost paid for everything so we box this stuff up i'll be right back with the final box box number four last box so this hodgepodge it's been pretty good actually i've got some really cool stuff i've gotten out several things in like the 50 40 50 dollar range one thing that was over a hundred this is this has been a good palette for 117 dollars that's all i paid here's the last box what is this <laughs> There's 30 fake snowballs. Crunches just like a real snowball. Anytime 30 snowballs are fun. Indoor snowball fight. I have never seen this. I'll probably try like 10 bucks on it. Just get rid of it. Oh, snuggles. Keeping this we can use for our dryer. That's a nice bottle. What is that Contigo? Yes, Contigo, the auto seal bottle with the oh, it's the with the key compartment. You can put your credit card in there and a key in there. It doesn't look used. It looks new still. There's no watermarks, nothing on here. That's nice. So it's missing the original thing that went around the neck, like the, the, the original tag for it. But the way it sits, I could easily probably get 15 bucks of this bottle. Pretty easily. Because it looks to be brand new. Just as missing its original tag. Because if that thing's been used, it'll always show water spots on no matter what. You can't get the water spots off of it. So, there's, there's no water spots. So I don't know if it's never been used. Here we've got a, a shower handheld faucet. Probably a good 20 bucks for that. What is M boys? Oh, rubber leg tips for like your furniture. Like five bucks. <laughs> Here we got some weird stuff. Here's a little piece of metal. It says liquidate per PS. No brand. So that's that's a doozy. But this thing, oh, this is kind of heavy. Oh, here's something. Here's some money. We got the Schlade. Keyless entry keypad, keypad deadbolt. This, here we got some money. We got some money. That. Trying to see if like the main parts are in here. Okay, here's like the main face of it. Oh yeah, that's never been installed yet. There's no scratches on it. This is nice. Looks like everything in there is in there. Has not been installed yet. So this still has a lot of value to it. So we got a keyless deadbolt entry. Type in your code and get into your house easily. 
this is nice. This has quite a bit of value. I've sold things like this in the past. Uh, this box, this thing's kind of, it's kind of beat up. So that does hurt the price of it. But this is going to be an easy 50, maybe as high as 60 bucks. New, this is probably about, oh, 75 to 100, I'm guessing, new. But used, I'd probably get like 50, 60 bucks for it at least. So that's nice. But the, I'm sure somebody's going to ask me what's the model number on it. Model number is BE365VCAM619. Barcode number UPC is 043156901364 is the barcode. Somebody's going to ask me, so I'll go ahead and just rattle it off on the video. Let's see. Cutting board. That's a good wooden cutting board. That's a good 10 bucks right there. This is this a record? No, it's not a record. It's a piece of plastic. If that was a record, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I just got a piece of cheapy plastic. I don't know what you'd use that for. Rechargeable Duracell batteries. Huh. Having received rechargeable batteries in the pallet for a long time and the charger, it's been a long time. Might have to keep this. I'll decide though. No matter what, I'll decide what to do with it. Three compartment meal prep lunch box. Oh, so this is just a meal prep plastic container thing. There's the barcode. Looks up real quick. Yeah, so three compartment container. So it's new on Amazon for like 15 bucks. So like, I'd sell for like 10. Dino deals number one. Spend your money on premium quality products. Label says Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 camera. Ooh, this, this got some value to it. If it's actually, if that's what is inside this box, it's got some value. Let's see, is it the, uh, yes it is. Yes it is. So we've got here is the Instax Mini 9 camera. It was like a whole, it's like a whole package deal in there. This thing feels like it's never been opened up yet. It's like all like stiff and tight still. So there's the camera. It's like a royal bluish color. Got a carrying case for it. Wrist strap. Then we've got a brand new thing of film for it. And then <laughs> it's just like a photo album in it. Then a whole bunch of trinkets in this box. A whole bunch of trinkets. Just photo stuff for your photo album close-up lens for it other close-up colored lenses a little package deal right there but just the camera by itself i use it sell for like 50 bucks then you throw in all this extra stuff that's kind of nice right there i bet this whole package deal is probably like what 60 60 or 70 i bet maybe as high as 60 i'm not too sure but that's kind of different Proster Silux Sandwich Maker. These have been selling for about 12 bucks. They sell pretty quickly. Good item. Two things left. That is, is that it? What is this? I keep smelling those uh, laundry sheets. I think it was in this box or other box. I keep, I, I keep smelling those laundry sheets like crazy oh it's a seat for like a uh, uh, computer chair seat got some dog hair on it though quite a bit of dog hair so it's not new that has been used so a used computer chair seat that's going to be an extremely hard sell 
And things are gonna be a pain in the butt to get back into the packaging too. It's one of those things that you just don't pull out, out, out of the packaging unless you really have to. And I pulled it out. There you go, it's going back in. But yeah, a used computer seat. That's not gonna sell very much. And then last item, premium essential oil diffuser. That's nice, aroma, humidifier, LED, changing mood light. That sounds nice. Now it looks to be factory package still. That's cool right there. That's probably a good 20 bucks right there, I bet. Maybe as high as 25. You bet 360 view on that bad boy. That's nice. So anyway, that's what we got. That's all four boxes, right? Yes, that's it. I wasn't too bad for a hodgepodge. That wasn't bad at all. Got out several high ticket items. Got out that pet feeder. That's a good 150 bucks right there. Electronics. We got out kitchenware. We got out apparel. Uh, we got some costumes. You could kind of call costumes toys. Uh, some freaking fake snowballs for indoor snowball fight. I've never seen those. But yeah, this, this is a decent palette. Lots of really cool stuff. Oh, and then we, we just got this camera out a few items ago, which that's fantastic. But yeah, this, this is a good palette. I got for like, what was it, $117? I think it was. Yeah, 117 bucks. That's all I paid. I got all this stuff for 117 bucks. So I'm making some good money. I think I said earlier with the pet feeder, I paid 170. Actually, I only paid 117. I have it written down on top of this box. So that pet feeder put me in that one thing put me into profit. Just the one pet feeder did. So this was fun. This is a hodgepodge. Like I love hodgepodge pals. They're fun to do. And price wise, I usually get them pretty cheap. Like they don't go very expensive. People a lot of people stay away from the hodgepodge because it's a total gamble because it's randomness of just everything. But as a reseller, they're profitable and I like them. I'm going to have videos coming up every single day the rest of this week. Saturday, I got an electronics video coming up Saturday. I got three to choose from. I'll choose one of them and that's what we'll do for Saturday. The other days this week, I'm going to have mystery boxes. I'm going to have subscription boxes. So be on the lookout for all those. Sometimes two uploads a day, so pay attention to that. And I will see you next time. I'm out.